morning. I thought I'd do a quick live. I picked up this tray Friday. Goodwill Hall is just a stainless steel, or not stainless steel, silver plated tray. I painted it with white. You need the white so that when you put something like this on, yeah, you just have a solid, clear light base. And this is actually what I'm going to use today. Now, it doesn't quite fit. It doesn't cover here or here. So I've pulled out a Harlequin pattern that I like. And I'll cut small pieces out and just do those sides and give it full coverage. Um, you don't need to do the whole thing. You just need to cover that area. I prefer to put it on, yeah, so it goes under. So I'm gonna do a quick, I want him about there and there. So I really don't need much, so I'm just gonna go up the layer here and cut it. And just kind of see where I'm at. I'll start at the bottom. I should get both pieces out of this. Cut it there. I'll take that white off. And then I'll put that piece there. And that'll cover those two sections. I'm gonna make sure I got all that little bit of white off. But I think this kind of, it matches pretty good. So then what I'm gonna do is go in here, use my fingers, figure out where I need to cut it down for the sides. May not be perfect, and I can go back later with an exacto knife after the glue has dried and get any little pieces, but this is going to get me pretty close to what I need. Mudge Podge. I use the gloss. It's a glue, but it is great for decoupaging. I only want to put the glue where I'm going to put this. I'm going to check one more time without letting it hit. Okay. Just to make sure I'm in the right area and where I need it to be. And then I'll just push that down in place. glue here, get that last little piece in place. Press it down flat. You want to try to you know, not have any bobbles. Okay, so that one's going to go right there. Again, same thing. Use your finger. Kind of, you know, just go in the crease there. Make a bit of a seam so you know where to cut. Again, make sure you're hitting the right spot. Yep. glue down. You don't need a ton of glue. You just need enough glue for it to stick. And then I'll get this last little bit here. And you can wear gloves. The glue doesn't bother me. It peels right off. 
So now we've used that to do our two sides. So that is all covered. Oops. And I've kind of figured out where I want this one to go. And I've done the same thing. This one's a little bigger. And I've gotten a water pen. I have not used it yet, so we're going to do this together for the first time. But this allows you to run water where you want to cut. just pull the paper there I'm sure it's going to take me a few times to get used to using this. And it's not gonna be perfect and I will have to go in and work with it a little bit, but that's okay. I have to do that if I use scissors. So either way, it is a step you're going to have to take. And see, I am going a little past that line. I would rather play it safe and just do a little cleanup afterwards once it's glued down. Then cutting it wrong and having to find, yeah, maybe a new design for this piece. I found this at uh, Family Dollar. I've seen people using them. I just had never tried one. And I figured it was time to try it. You just put the water in the end. There's a paintbrush on it. All right, let's see how far off I am. Ah, uh, still got a little more paper than I want there. So I'm going to go around one more time and get it a little closer. going to take me a few times to get used to this. And you know what? It's so close there. I'm just going to cut where I just did the line. I'm afraid I'm going to go over until I get more practice with that pen. I'd rather be safe. Oops. Some of these, like this I'll save. You can take those flowers. I can use them again on here. I can use them on something else. Yeah, there's a lot you could do. So pieces like that I save. Smaller pieces I don't save. But some of the bigger cuts I will save. Okay, we're gonna start gluing. 
I start at the top. I'm going to go around my bin. I want to make sure I don't go up over because anything extra, I really don't want it sticking. It's much harder to you know, get it off. I don't do the whole thing. You can go over this that you already you know, put down. I do a little bit at a time. So I'm still going to have an area to clean up. But since I didn't put glue up on the edge, that'll be very easy to get off. You use your fingers. You can use a credit card. Hey, people use different things. You just want to make sure you get it flat. I'm going to lift it up and do my next. I pull up a little bit of where I just did just to make sure I got the ends well. Remember, don't overdo the glue. Just enough so your piece is going to stick. Again, I'm going to use my hand as I go down and get as many wrinkles or air bubbles as I can. Keep it from getting on the side. You don't want your excess to get stuck up there. You want to be able to trim it off easily once the glue dries. I just use an X-Acto blade and it comes up pretty good. There's the paper dam. That went pretty quick. I'm going to slide this over because I have one other one here. And I'm going to, this is just a piece of the wood. Some people do the inside. I'm using this to put this on the outside. And I've kind of figured out I want, you know, my woman on there. I, I will lose some of this, but I can circle that and maybe place it over here. Since, yeah, there's so much here that's going to be cut off. Go right up here. So there's not that much. The same thing with this piece. Oh. Yeah, go across your top. Put your your glue down. This bottom fold kind of as a guide and I have that top fold I'm gonna go across get it as smooth as I can I haven't been doing this very long so I'm still learning tips and tricks 
but I am finding I enjoy it. It's fun to do. It's easy and quick, which is nice. Get this bottom glued on. Smooth it out. You don't want a bunch of extra. Start bringing him down from the top or whichever direction you're going so you can smooth. You don't want to drop it and smooth from the opposite end. Yes, yeah, smooth down from where you are already attached. And there's the beginning of what you're going to do. And that's what's left. But see, I can take this word and I can cut it out and put it over here. I'm going to trim some of this. There's a trick that's great for a project like this. I can't show you up here. My mother's oxygen is in this room. But these edges, once you are glued down, take it like to your kitchen sink. Use a lighter, light it. It will burn right along the edge. Keep the paper up, you don't really want it to burn here. Same for this little section. And my overhangs. And that's what I'll do to clean up my edges on this piece. It's quick. It's easy. The whole thing does not catch on fire. It will go right to the edge and it'll burn right down. Quick, easy. So. And these are... This is just one of them. I found these yesterday at Goodwill. It had, I don't know, some kitty stuff. You can see some of the blue and green yet. I covered it in white a couple times so that it was white again. This is the decoupage paper. Here I used the uh, sticky washabi tape. I hope I'm saying that right. To do the edges. It was quick. It's fast. My grandson wants dragons for his bedroom. So I did three different ones. I think I got the canvas. And as you can see, it has the wood. It's a nice canvas. Already has the backing. For $1.99. I redid it. And now I have new dragons to put in his bedroom. I have to do a top coat, which is why I thought I'll do these two bottom coats. And then I'll show you guys, you know, doing the top coat. But I wanna get my first coat on. You use the Mod Podge. Be careful around your edges until the glue's dry. I try not to cut it off because the paper's wet from the glue. It's too easy for it to tear. So I just am very careful going around the edge so that when it's time to, you know, come back and cut that off, uh, the paper will be dry. This is, will be all glued down and it'll be easy to cut. You want it smooth. You can tell if you stand it. Let the light hit it certain ways. You will be able to tell if you missed a spot. Um, I mean, you're going to do a couple coats, so um, don't worry too much about missing a spot. I always do at least two coats to give it a good seal. And uh, I want that shine, that gloss. 
You have to wait in between. You, you want the paper to have time to dry. You do all the coats at one time and your paper's going to buckle. It's glue, but it's still moisture. It's still wet. So don't, you know, try and do two or three coats at one time. Okay, there's the first coat on him. I want to do a coat on him. I'm going to go over to the edges. I don't want to get what I'm going to burn off glued. I just want to go down the sides here. Just a, an extra deterrent for when I start burning the paper off, the glue's in place. I would normally have burned it before I glued it, but because her oxygen's in my craft room, I can't do that. I have to run downstairs to burn it. I'm in the process of making some room somewhere in my laundry room, at least for over the summer, to store her oxygen. I can't store it in the winter time. I use a pot belly for heat. So then it's gonna have to come back up here <laughs> or somewhere. You can go on Etsy. I mean, Amazon does have some rice paper options. You can do one of two things. You can go on Etsy. You can buy a digital download and download and print the paper at home. I do that for the most point, uh, almost all the time. So there's a few papers they don't have a digital download. I have to buy them and wait for them to be shipped. I buy rice paper on Amazon. You can use your regular printer paper. I know there are people out here who, who just do that. Now he's got his first coat of glue on there. And these are my dragons. I have three of them I did. I'm kind of digging the way they look. There's the other one. And here's the third one. They kind of look old. He's five. So I wanted to get something that looked fun. And that he could, you know, grow into him if he sticks with dragons for five or six years. You don't know with the little ones. They change so fast. But if he sticks with dragons for five or six years, when he's ten, these won't look childish to him. You know, and that was my thought. Yeah, something that he can use for several years. And if you like dragons, oh, there's some cute ones. You know, with flowers in the background. I couldn't use them, obviously, for him. But I'm going to pull some of those, print them out. And make them for one of the shops that I take stuff to. It'll be right up the rally. Okay. That is the second coat of glue. 
Now these I went down here because I knew I was doing the sides with that. So I want to glue that. I'm trying to not touch the tape. It has a velvety feel. I'd rather not hit it. So there's the first one. That's his second coat of glue. I'm going to set him over here. I'm running out of room. Whoops. I'm going to get a coat of glue on this one. This tape was perfect. Yeah, you, know, you, you print out eight and a half by eleven. And these are twelve by twelve boards. So you know, lengthwise I was fine. Paper was plenty long enough. It was the width that was an issue, which is why I chose I could have decoupaged that side as well. I like the idea of the black and white. There are black dots throughout this and just spots on the dragon that are a little darker. And I wanted the black and white to kind of frame it from the side a little bit. Doing the bottom again. Trying not to hit this tape. I brought it down and under. And there's a oh, little piece of paper stuck. Let me just kind of fix that real quick. There we go. Set him over here. I think he's my favorite. <laughs> Not sure why, but I like that particular one. I love that it has the wording on the back. I, I think it just makes it look old, you know. I like old, I like vintage. My house was built in 1890. I still have push button electric. Yep. I like the character of old. Um, may sound silly. I like knowing that for 130 years, people lived their lives in these walls. I'm sure there were children born here. I know two people died here. One was a, an, an owner back in the 50s, and my husband died here. And I'm sure there were more. I'm sure there were babies born here. And there were parties and graduations and celebrations. 130 years of life has happened inside these walls. And I just love that. Okay, we've got the bottoms done. Everything's nice and flat. Now I'll give these at least four or five hours to really dry. I'll do one more coat. And then I should be able to take them over to him. Maybe later tonight, definitely tomorrow or Tuesday. And we can put them on his wall. I gotta set this one down. Starting to dry. Let's uh, ah, 
there was a downside to not having a lot of area to work in. And that is finding the stuff you need. All right, let me put this over here. picked up this little guy to help with the bedding. Got some of these. I'm going to try putting some decoupage on these light switches. I thought that might be fun. You could do two or three that will all go in a room with the same design or a similar design. Now this is what I use. I know he's not completely dry yet, but See if I can get some of it to cut. It just scores it right around. I kind of use, yeah, this circle is my guideline. I don't press too hard. I don't want it to go down through the paint I'm working with. Works pretty good as soon as the glue starts drying you have a you know, harder surface because the glue so if you try to do this when the glue is really wet it's just going to pull the paper it's going to pull the paper up I mean it's still doing it now but not like it would be if it was really wet I got glue right there. Let's see, and this is where you gotta be careful. See, it's still a little wet. It's trying to pull my paper up. I'm at the last section. We'll go back down around right here. Yeah, you know, and glue it better. I'm sure with time, you know, I'll get better with like cutting the paper and feeling comfortable with where I made my marks. But since I'm still, you know, kind of new to this, I would rather go back through and do a little cutting and get it right. <laughs> then ruin my piece and have to start over. You know, until I'm better with, like, judging space and, and things like that. And I will go back around where I have cut all this off and glue again to make sure these little edges that, you know, I've cut through are glued down nice and tight. I 
I have some bling I'm going to put on the bee. I haven't decided about the outside color. I don't think I want to leave it white. I don't think I want to do black. So I, I got to figure that out yet. fix over here yeah where I filled in these got to come off yet too I filled it in nice the colors go really good together I think Sunday morning here. It's beautiful out. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. The downside, you get covered in glue. Washes right off. I got a little spot right here. There we go. There's our design on the plate. Now he's going to need a couple coats of glue. Um, yeah, to get it sealed. And you're going to want to do your glue before. It's like you could put flowers here or something blingy. I think I might run a row of. Um, rhinestones around the outside but to do all that you want your finish down because once you put stuff on top you're not going to be able to do a yeah you know, solid finish all the way around so I'm going to get another finish on here all the way around now that I've gotten the edges I want to make sure I get close and get on those spots sometimes it lifts up some from you cutting it it's not too hard to do Mod Podge, they have a matte finish. So if you don't want glossy, you want more of a matte or a satin, you can get that with Mod Podge. Um, they have a lot of different colors that you can use on a lot of different things. All right, now there's the coat. See as the light hits it. I can see that I got everything. If I hadn't, it would be dull. There'd be a spot on the paper. Dull, and it wouldn't be wet. So that's how you know you're yeah, really covering your whole piece. Um, why these dry? That one's starting to dry. I am going to pause this. And then I'll make a part two. I'm going to come in and paint this. 
I'm going to get this burned off. That's just going to get some bling added. I'm not sure why yet. Probably some flowers. Some rhinestones. So, I'll put this up as part one. Part two, we'll be finishing these off once all of this is dry and cured nicely. So, that will be later today. So, keep your eye out for part two. Thanks, guys. Bye.